Hey guys, this is Laria Vogel coming to you. My webcam is not working right now, so I might have to buy a new one. Anyway, we are going to start off my new Let's Play thing um, with one of my favorite games, The Longest Journey. Now, just to warn you guys, this game did not age well. But, without further ado, uh... Let's do what this crayon drawing tells us to and begin the journey. So, you've come to hear me tell a story, have you? Yes. If you please, we would love to hear one of your stories. You have seen so much. You have lived so long. Oh, <laughs> so good of you to remind me of my age, child. No, don't worry. I am an old woman, but I've lived a long and fulfilling life, and I do have stories to tell. Which story would you like to hear? A true one. A true story. All my stories are true, child. There are enough fairy tales in the worlds already. There's no need for me to make up more, believe me. Tell us the story of the balance, then. <laughs> you want the story of the balance? Oh, that's a long story, child. And not one I'd venture to tell at this hour. But perhaps I could tell you a story that I heard a long time ago. A story that became a crucial turning point in the history of the balance. And that set in motion wheels that, to this day, are still turning. Please, yes, that does sound like a story we'd like to hear. Very well. This story, like all good stories, begins where it ends. In a tower. In a realm that is no more. Funcom presents The Longest Journey. Like I said, this game didn't end and blur age well. Did you see those polygons? Written and produced by Ragnar Tornquist? Tornquist. Art director Diedrich Tol Tol Efsrin. Original score by Bjorn Arve Largen. Goodness. Lead programmer Morten Lode. Lod? I'm butchering these people's names. It's a good thing this game is from like 1988. 1998. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah. Important stuff is happening. The music is beautiful. And there's a naked person. Woo! First video ever, and the first thing we see is a naked dude. Like, do we need to see that? First time I played this game, that creeped me right the hell out. So we went from that to, well, 
like some sort of weird techno world, and then into this girl's bedroom. Polygons. <laughs> Are these even polygons? Good, it's still recording. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm dreaming again. You are. You know, for once, just once, it would be nice to have a decent night's sleep without waking up screaming from a bad dream at 4 a.m. Huh, <laughs> agreed. Okay, sweetheart. Um, let's see. I'm in my undies. That's. So not appropriate. Probably not. Anyway, this is April. She's cool. There's a storm heading this way. Even the weather sucks in my dreams. I feel so charmed. I... Lovely. Postcard pretty. Storm's coming. You know, that should really have been my cue to wake up. Actually, I think she might have some, uh... Undead. Real life never looked this good. Oh, whoops. Oh, what's this? I never noticed that before. Uh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh God, it's been so long. I, I keep wanting to push the W A S D. What's buttons, happening? Cause. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, perfect. I guess if I don't do something to save that egg, I'll suffer seven years of bad karma or something. <laughs> Probably. Uh... Lucky thing the egg got caught between those roots. It's a long way down. Alright, uh, well... It looks reptilian, but it can't be. It's much, much too big and... and... I don't much care for reptiles. <laughs> Okay. Grab it. I don't mind reptiles. Sometimes they're cute. Oh, I'm Did that sound come from the egg? Oh, that's some chick. I, I like how I don't think I can get a good grip on it. It's too big and slippery and I might drop it by accident. Uh, I like how she goes from thinking it's some sort of reptile to thinking it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. It's a nest. Padded with large scales. Very large scales. Two. Cool. For some strange reason, I have a feeling I should get the hell out of here before the tenants return. Probably. This is something. interesting. I've never seen a scale this size before. I'll keep it as a souvenir. Yeah. It's as dry as a bone. It'd probably snap right off in a second. I'm an artist, not a botanist, but I'm pretty certain this tree is dead. Or close to it. Well, then it's not gonna miss this, is it? I can use it to grab the egg. Oh. <gasps> it's Tree Bear! Oh, the suffering we must endure. What? Why do you take such pleasure in torturing oh. us? Torturing you? Who are you? We are the voice of all trees, the spirit of wood and leaf. You're a talking tree? No, a tree does not talk. At least not in your tongue. The tongue of trees is the language of wood, root, and leaf. Who are you then? Like we said, we are the voice of all trees. Whenever an injustice is done, there's we a must lot speak of talking in this game, by the way. We are present. Lots it's of It's the branch. Talking. I shouldn't have broken the branch off. Oh, what does it it's matter? It's an anyway? old point and click adventure. There's nothing more to be done for us. What do you want from it? We are simply here to provide comfort in the final passing to Earth. I think next time I'll play Fable. We? I only see one of you. We are one with our host, as we are all one spirit, but legion. Yeah, I have. Thanks no idea for clearing that, that up. 
We do not expect you to understand. You are human. Dick. What's egg. the deal with the egg? Egg? What egg? Oh, of course, the child. It's an egg, not a child. Whenever the mother was absent, we were entrusted with the safety of the child. But now, withered and without strength, we can do nothing to help. What a shit, Mom. We she left a tree in charge of her kid. We despair. <laughs> Our shame knows no bounds. No, she should be ashamed. She left a tree in charge of her kid. A tree! This is a fantasy game, though, so okay, Treebeard. I'm gonna call you that, because you haven't told me your name. Uh, what happened to the I tree? Leave? No. Oh, the pain. As the battle raged, we... Battle? Just skip it. Between the mother and black chaos. She was only protecting her child, but it would not back down. And the force of their battle shook the mountain. The brook that fed us was led astray, and without water, we began to wither and die. Great. Who are you again? I <laughs> like we how it just auto asked. We come to all trees in the hour of great need to provide comfort and aid in the passing to earth and to give a voice to those who suffer. Our time is running out as we speak. The passing to earth is about to begin. Leave us now. What about the egg? Oh, it is too late. Without sustenance, we do not have the strength to bring it safely home. We have failed. And the Earth will know our shame for all time to come. Okay. Isn't there anything I can do to help? Oh, we do not expect a human to come to our aid. Don't be such a dick. Tree. Lose the attitude, okay? Just tell me if there's anything I can do. I like fire. It is futile. We need water, but there is none. Not after the brook changed course. I hear running water, dude. I'll I find a way. Get Don't it. panic. We do not panic. Unlike you, we accept our destiny. If, however, against all odds, you do succeed, we will carry the child safely back into its nest. Do not make a foolish attempt on your own. It would spell certain misery. Okay, okay. Sorry guys, just pulling up. Uh, let's go to the stream. According to the, um, spirit, there was some kind of battle that split the fresh yeah, mountain water. Back in the real world, they'd probably charge 15 bucks. I think I just made a funnel. Cool. I'm so proud of myself. April. Go over there, April. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Got it. Ha! <laughs> do the trick. Find the pixel. <laughs> would not happen. Oh, well, I guess it is a dream. Talk That's about instant rehab. <laughs> instant <laughs> April. Oh, oh, you naive person. Uh, da, da, da. Tree. Fix it. Egg. Hello. Get it. Hello. Mush mushy. Leave us be. Mush mushy. Are you okay? We find our strength returned, and so we have no time for idle conversation. We must drink and rejoice. Aren't what about the baby? We forgetting something? Hush, listen. The song of ancient wood. Is it not sweet? It is not. 
I am Sweet. not an elf. Definitely. Yeah. Or a hippie. The baby's probably ready to boogie down as well. That is hilarious. The baby. Oh, the egg. Thank the earth. We almost forgot. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that looks dangerous. Did he just murder that baby? Nope. How convenient. Oh. That doesn't sound good. What? What was that? I don't know. Go ask your friend the tree. Uh-oh. It is you. You have come. You know me? April. Daughter. Well, I was about to say Mother of Christ. Waiting for you. But I guess Mother of April waiting. works. Why? Because it begins here, with you, as it always has. I'm not very funny. What do you mean? The breach and the mending. The pain and the joy. The end of the old and the dawn of the new. A different world. Two. I am the mother of what is. But you, you are the mother of a future that may yet be. How will I know? How will I know what to do? <laughs> Cliché. I will guide you. And I will protect you. Cliché. As much as I can. But in the end, you are on your own. Cliché. I'm afraid. Cliché. <laughs> you always were, my child, my daughter. Oh, good lord. This is probably not a good thing. I said that earlier, April. It's very pretty, though. Cool. If not completely evil. Chapter 1. Penumbra. What a nightmare. I'm completely exhausted. I must have been tossing and turning all night. It's so hot in here, too. No wonder I keep having these weird dreams. I've basically been simmering in my own sweat every night this past week. Doesn't look like it's gonna cool down anytime soon, either. It's another sunny day in Newport. I don't know where Newport is. Ha! Ah, WASD well, doesn't it's work. it's a good thing the studio's got proper air conditioning. I promised myself I was gonna spend most of the day working, and I don't intend to break that promise. Not this time. <laughs> sure. Oh. Anyway guys, uh, I will be right back because I'm being summoned.